home inspection on this customer's one year warranty inspection. And I just met the neighbor, really nice guy, but he said that he doesn't need an inspection because he's lived at home for a year and hasn't noticed any defects. Good luck to you on that. Exposed lath material. Yes, plenty of that. Took me about 45 minutes to mark all the exposed lath on the exterior of the home. And the clamp at the riser. Well, it's on the riser pipe, but it's not installed correctly against the cladding to help support the electrical panel. And stucco cracks or shrinkage cracks on the exterior stucco, well, that would be very normal. But what would not be normal is to find this much. This, in my opinion, would be considered excessive. Tip the tile. Another chip tile. Another chip tile here and there. There's a broken tile right there. Cracked tile right here. There's a broken tile right there. And at the attic area, overall the insulation is not that bad. Uniformity, yeah, there's some areas that are high and little areas that are low, but for the most part, eight and a half inches or more at most areas. There are a few areas that are a little thin on insulation, like this spot right here. There's only about maybe six and a half, maybe seven inches of insulation. So you do need a little bit more at some of the low areas. And pretty close to where I entered the attic, here's the attic scuttle. And right here at the blue tape, there's a damaged truss connector plate right here. So that will need to be repaired by a licensed contractor and then evaluated and certified by a structural engineer. Crooked interior walls. And over here. Everything. Is it a thorough inspection? Oh yeah, above and beyond. <laughs> How you find it? I saw a bunch yeah, of YouTube, YouTube videos. YouTube? Yeah, right. me. You just need to talk to your neighbor. There was just, what, doing the walkthrough, the initial walkthrough, mm -hmm. they were just like, oh yeah, it's just, oh, we'll, we'll clean that up, clean that up. And I was like, <laughs>